One of my favorites was just a new version of I Must Tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus all of my trials. I cannot bear my burdens alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Jesus can help me. Jesus alone. It has played over and over and over again in my head and just been a sweet reminder that he's the first place I should go with my burdens, my joys, my heartaches, whatever. Um, so that one stood out to me. And of course, Look to Christ was really special to me. We are going to look to him in the storms and in the trials, which everyone can relate to because everybody goes through difficult things. It was such a song of hope, and I, my heart is just thrilled every time I hear it because I think this gives hope to everybody who has struggled, will struggle, is struggling. And part of that hope is that we are walking this road together as a church family. Again, we talk about we a lot in the song. It's not just about me. I'm doing this with the body of Christ. I am walking through these trials with other people and with Christ, and I'm looking to Him through the storm. And one of the lines even talks about how that every wave I feel has already been, I forget the exact wording, but subjected to His control and His authority and what His will is for my life. And what a comfort that is and what a hope that is that when we do face storms, just like the disciples, that we have assurance that we can get through this with Jesus Christ and with the body that He wants us to be united to. It's hard to narrow songs down to one because every song tells a story. There's probably one though that has maybe stuck out to me a little bit, I Am Free. And uh, I know when Andy Gleiser sent me that text the first time, I, it just, I thought, wow, this is really nice. I love the imagery that he uses. And he talks about the dungeon of our heart. When you hear the word dungeon, you think of something that's really dirty and dark and scary. But that is our heart. We are dark. The chains of sin have locked us down. But there's a contrast in the song that we can actually be free of that. We don't have to live a life in bondage because he has broken those chains of sin. So now we are free. We are free to love Him and to please Him. And that is an amazing story of God's grace in each of us, that we are free from our sin. That bondage is broken. It is no more. And that song has really stood out to me, the message of, and I'm excited for people to hear that.
the reason we are continuing to produce music. We want to assist, equip, and help local churches. So it is a joy and privilege to be a part of that and be able to give that gift to the local church. But also, we just love giving people a new opportunity to let truth run through their minds. There are a lot of goals, I guess, that we could mention for an album or for certain songs, but I'd say something that I always am burdened for is that the teens, the adults, whoever comes to the wilds, that the music they hear would without question point them to Jesus. The fact that God's enabled us to be a place of resource for His people, specifically with music, is just, it's just a real joy and um, something that we love to do. And we love to serve the Lord and serve His people and give them these tools that they can use to help them be better equipped to serve in their own local churches. But also personally, we want the songs and the music that we produce to really aid people in their personal walk with the Lord and continually point them to Him. The music is a great tool and I think these songs are going to be a great way to help us be mindful um, to keep our gaze and our focus on Christ.